hi everybody solange here welcome back again to my channel even though this time around to some sad news that came by yesterday as uh, has been on all social media platforms news platforms about the passing away of social um relationship expert my name kevin samuels may his soul rest in peace um, even though, on the contrary, a lot of black women seem to be celebrating. Oh my God, I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anybody die. I've never seen anybody pass away under the types of circumstances. Um, um, Samuel, Kevin Samuel passed on through and people are celebrating or they seem to be celebrating. <laughs> I have never seen anything like that in my entire life. But the black woman community seemed to be celebrating that this man died. Wow. <laughs> Could there be more reasons as to why they are celebrating the passing away of Kevin Samuels? You know, from my little insight about who Kevin Samuels was, he was someone that spent the majority of his career putting down black women, especially single moms, especially those, like you say, 27 and unmarried, 35 and unmarried. And sometimes they would even say it out loud that you all will die single and lonely. <laughs> and he tried to put the black woman down for the most part of his career. He spent his time downgrading them. He spent his time. <laughs> so, um, though I'm surprised that I've never seen in my life anyone celebrating anybody's day. I am very surprised about that. But to a greater extent, I am not surprised that if this was to be the case that a person dies and people are celebrating, it would be no surprise to me that someone like Kevin Samuels <laughs> happened to be that person who died and what black women are celebrating because to them, I think it feels more like a liberation of being put down, of being walked over. I am a black woman, more so a single mom of two beautiful babies. So I can imagine a man telling me, I'm past 35, telling me I'm going to die single and lonely. I can imagine someone telling me I'm left over breath. Like his last post, three days before his passing away, he was talking about cold pizza in that an over 35 serve cold it is just like he was he was relating or trying to say that's who a single a single mother is you are just like cold leftover pizza can you imagine a human being likening another one to be cold leftover pizza oh now you see why the black woman is celebrating because it's more like a liberation from that type of mental or uh, uh, um, oppression from another man simply because he has a platform, simply because he has uh, uh, he is rich. <laughs> None of that really matters now. See, I've always said you might be passing whatever truth you're passing across, if that's your calling. But don't put nobody down. You didn't make nobody. You don't have no audacity to pull anybody down. So if you, <laughs> I am not, to be honest, I am not surprised the black women are kind of celebrating his death. But what I would say to the black community, a black woman, is not to celebrate his death. No, that's not right to celebrate that anybody passed away. But I know they are celebrating because they are, it's like a, a breakthrough from such you know, that, that type of enslavement where a man is going to look at a mother, a woman because you're a single woman or you are a single mother, you are left over. It's like liberation from that type of mindset. But even though he has a lot of followers who have already inculcated or have been indoctrinated with such a mindset to see a woman that way. But can we tell you something? This woman didn't make themselves single mothers. I am one, so I can tell you that they didn't make themselves. A lot of them are, are, are an outcome of immature men. 
But we want to downgrade this woman as though they made these babies by themselves. They are not single mothers by themselves. Whoever made them mothers are equally single fathers. That's where we minus the men out of the equation and let them walk away with something they are equally guilty of. So if you want to put down the single mother or single woman, you have to do the same for the single fathers and the single men because they fall under the same category. Nobody is superior to another human being. So that type of mindset is controlling. That type of mi mindset is more male dominance. It's more like a narcissistic mentality. And that's never going to work in any relationship. Reason why a lot of women today are choosing to be single by choice. And you want to know why? Because of such downgrading way the society uh, looks at women and single mothers. Reason why most women are choosing to be single because they're choosing peace over drama. Oh, that sounds like my situation. I would rather be single and happy and tux and, and drama free than to be involved with someone who feels your leftover bread because you have precious kids. <laughs> oh, please. Cry me a river. I would rather be single and happy. I can deal with such mindsets. I can deal with male control and dominance over a woman. I can deal with a man that sees a woman as you doing them a favor by being in a relationship with them or married to them. I can deal with such mindsets. Reason why, like I said, a lot of black, black women are choosing to be single. Is it because they want to? No. It's just because of mindsets like the type. Kevin Samuels indoctrinated his followers men with. So that said, may his soul rest in peace. At the end of the day, we all will one day die or leave this planet. Reason why I don't feel anybody should celebrate his death because it could be you, it could be your brother, it could be anybody. But like I said, this life, the reason why they're celebrating is because <laughs> there is a BB I'm going to go BB call on this. There is a biblical statement that says, be merciful and thou shalt obtain mercy. That means when you're not merciful to others, you don't deserve mercy. So Kevin Samuel is getting exactly what he sold. These are the, seeds, the outcome of his seeds that he sold. And that's the reason why he's getting this outcome. He did not show mercy to the black woman. That's why he's not getting any mercy. And it kind of seems these black community women are evil. They are not evil. They are just not showing him mercy. Because he himself didn't show the mercy. It is a biblical principle. As you make your bed, so shall you lie on it. There are other relationship coaches. I bet you, or experts, if they die today, the black woman will be mourning. Why? Because everything is about approach. It's not about what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. It's how he was passing across his truth, or whatever he called his truth. That was the problem. So what he's getting is what he gave. That's what he's getting back. He was merciless. That's why he's getting no mercy. Even at the point of his death, the news of his death, and they are rather celebrating because he did not show the black woman mercy. And that is so sad to say, but you're getting what you got. You deserve, Kevin. You're getting exactly what you deserve as you make your bed. So shall you lie on it. But at the end of the day, it is God that's going to be the judge of us all, not me. I'm not here to judge him. It's just my two cents. So let us know what your take is on this. Are black women actually celebrating the demise of this relationship expert top coach? Do us a favor, drop your comments in the comment section. Let's know what your take is. Let's hear what your own opinion is. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do us a favor, click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys again. I love you. Take care. God bless.